and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now today is a mixture of a bit of old, a bit of bullshit, a bit of good. And in the mod hub today, if we click the L3 and show, you think, oh, look at all that, there's loads. But we will scroll over to go to the latest, and if you click on it, it shows you the first two, and then you click on the L3, show top mods only, uh, show all mods, sorry. And then it shows you the eight. So we start off with the Voltra S series car edition, which is the slightly the bigger brother of the uh, other Voltras. Nice looking addition, a Giants one. So another one they forgot to release, no date. And we've also got a big baler, the New Holland, that's uh, from Giants. Then we've got the Fliegel log trailer, which looks like there's quite a few different variants, and it looks like it, it that will hook up to the back of the truck I bought, which is pretty awesome. That's by Chris Joe. Then we've got a wheel loader shovel. Now this is large capacity, which we've been waiting for. Should have got this from release, really. And that's by Grassland Mods. Then another essential item, the fork lizard with claws. This we should have had this from the start, so we can pick up four bales. An option for tele low tele option for wheel loaders and tele handlers. Tele loaders, tele handlers, front loaders. And then we've also got three maps. You've got Alps Panorama. Pan Panorama at the Northern Sea by Joe. This map is a mixture of mountainous alpine landscape slope into the sandy beach. Animals are already installed, which is always nice. There's a placeable area among the. There's also a placeable area among the Alps. The map is well suited for expansion in the game editing tool. So that looks pretty cool. Then we've got new Bartle Shagun, and that's an. Well, look at the size of the fields on that awesome huge fields proper farming and then we've also got last but not least the grizzly mountain now this has got a, a lot of people rate this one i have i haven't even had a look at it i wanted to save it and have a good look at it so we will have a look at those i will do a map tour for all of those rather than go through them in new mods but that is it all we've got for today but at least we got some new maps about bloody time good some we've seen before some we haven't well saying that i'm not sure on this voucher i think we've had the car edition in fs17 but i can't be 100 percent on that let's look at the voucher first this is the voucher s series cow edition now this is £297,000 to buy and £15,147 to lease. You can change the rim colours on it and that's about all the all you can do for paint. It's got all the different tyre combinations from the wide wheels to your weights and you can have twins on the front as well. Uh, it is minus 15 slots and it's 350 horsepower. That's a nice looking mod. You can get the upgrade on the engine and it take you up to 400 horsepower and that's an extra 25 grand though. So it's quite, well, I suppose 25 grand for an extra, horsepower, extra 50 horsepower isn't too excessive, I suppose. But yeah, it's got a full light configuration on it. Looks pretty nice. Go inside, and yeah, this is all new, same as the other vultures, I think. The latest edition. Giant South FM. Got to put a pedal action working. Brakes pedal, accelerate pedal. Sorry, and of course we can do the spinny round and drive from the back so 
if you were waiting for the Vultra, there it is. It's nice to have an extra large tractor because we do seem to get a lot of smaller tractors than the larger uh, tractors, but there you go. Right, moving on, the next on the agenda is the big baler and I didn't even realise we didn't have this until I had a look and it was like what where was the big baler then we've never had it had it whatsoever so this is 155 grand which I was quite surprised about that's a uh, quite a bit of money let's leave that firing up and we've got the PTO, you can see the PTO spinning around there. Whoa. And we've got movement going on inside. So it needs 160 horsepower as a minimum to run this. And there are no different wheel options or anything else related to it. No other options. You get what you get. That is it. So that was another one by Giants. So these two, they didn't have time to release them or did they purposely hold them back and think ah we're gonna release a load of stuff and we can put it as mods and our players are that stupid they won't realize wow we got your number pal anyway moving on moving on we have the wheel loader front shovel now this is one of the things we have really needed at the moment this has got the 6200 litre capacity 4100 pounds to buy and 94 pounds to lease this has got maintenance on it's weird some of the stuff hasn't got any maintenance and some has this will cost you three pound a day maintenance you can have any of the all the colors what are normally in the shop you can change it to any color you want and yeah that matches that pretty nice then the next one is the fork with claws which i didn't even realize this we didn't have this for a few weeks ago went to pick up some bales and i thought oh well, i'll go and get the one what picks up four bales no we didn't have it but we've got it now here it is 1100 pounds to buy 56 pounds to lease and this will fit on a front loader a telehandler and a wheel loader it will fit on everything about bloody time isn't it why can't everything fit on everything it's crazy but there you have it so that is well we have been waiting for that big time so now you can pick up a lot more bales and you can use the loader to do it if you wish. Moving on to the top item of the day, I think personally, well, apart from the three maps, obviously, but we have the Flegel Log Trailer. Now this comes in quite a few odd com combinations, um, ranging from it's the, the back wheel axles, basically you get the three wheel axles, you can raise and lower that wheel and the back wheel there and also you get the sliders these actually side you can see that one i've left in the position there that one over there is in the middle so these can move about which enables you to load a lot easier same with this one this one here in the middle that can be moved forward i'll show you that now now these trailers are specifically designed for this man so you'd have thought they'd have brought it out when they brought the man out, really, wouldn't you? But there you go. What, what do we know? What do we know? Surely it's better to have a big trailer because this is a small truck. It is, you know, it only takes six meter lengths in the back where they've just brought out the Scorpion King, what does eight meters. So you'd have thought they might put eight meters in there. But there you have it. So when we are connected now, if I can push the button, the right buttons, there we go. You can move this f to the left and to the right. And you can also do the same. Note that's the wheels with the top, with the front one. But I can't find the button to do it. But you can. You can move the front as well. You can also move all of them. They all move to the half loaded position if you require. Um, the ones on the back here 
you've just got the 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 gate there's a gate on the back and a gate on the in the middle there and they don't move but these bits in the this one in the middle still does which is quite handy but yeah with the amount of I well I will be trying this one out on because I'm going to go and do a map tour on the new maps and obviously there's the Grizzly Mountain login and we'll be putting that into action because it should be quite stable with the amount of tires you've got on that that should be pretty stable it's just a shame there is no hookup so we can't have two together it is a shame but looking at that as well you still got the straps on so you might be able to put stuff onto here not sure what but everyone gets imaginative on FS anyway so we'll be using it for all types of things anyhow that is about it for today um, I actually I didn't say they are minus 12 slots so not a huge amount of slots and then obviously the next one is minus one as I was saying that is it for today I'm gonna go off and do some map tours now on the three new maps which we've been waiting for for a long time still disappointed wanted to see a British or an English map in there but no it hasn't come along yet we haven't got that so we're gonna have to play the waiting game on that so don't forget to check out my map tours and we'll be starting a series on one of those maps as well after I've had a good look to see which one I want to do right out well, if you've enjoyed this episode of New Mods, then please give me a like. It would be much appreciated. And if you want to see more content, then hit that subscribe button. And you will, I will always be in your homepage, so you'll know where to find me. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.